Hey, my name is Dr. Knot. This is Sentience, the Android's Tale, and today, Cardra got attacked, and we're gonna go find what happened. I guess a howler breached the base, and this person is still standing there. And yeah, Carter lost a chunk of his body. Oh, there it is. Never seen one of these up close before. Not exactly Prince Charming, is it? The real question is why it came within the perimeter. They've always stayed away until now. Same reason some lions get to eating men. It was hungry. Well, we should all be grateful for the advanced warning given by the activity sensors, and for the bravery of our security chief. This could have been much worse if not for you, Carter. You're the hero of the day. Just doing my job. Yes, yes. If we can stop patting each other on the back for just a moment, perhaps you'll let me take a look at those injuries. It's nothing. A flesh wound. That's for me to determine. The bite could be venomous, for all we know. Good point. You should take him to medical. Not. I want you to make yourself useful and assist Dr. Walden. Ugh! Thank you again, Carter. I don't know what we'd do without you. He seems to be stable now, thanks to the sedative. He'll be asleep for a few more hours at least. I'm going to head over to headquarters to prepare my report. I won't be needing you for the moment. I wouldn't trust you to open a can of tuna, let alone monitor a patient. The medical droid will take care of that. You can continue with whatever the hell it is you do around here. Good, I didn't want to help you anyway. I was going to sabotage everything that you do and make you look bad. Ha! Huh. Oh, I have one new item in my inventory. I completed a mission! I think it's because of that? Are those correlated? Oh. You have new tasks in your mission log. Okay, so I really didn't have to do anything regarding that. Espionage and... Wait, or... Yeah. And Cypher. So, Technician Luna wants to talk with you regarding a personal matter. She can usually be found inside or around Agriculture 1. Alright, we'll do that. We still have not found any more metal. We need three more metal scraps. I'm waiting to go to like more like different places because I think we've searched this place pretty well. Wait, is that a bug? Ew. Alright. We are outside of medical. We need to go to agriculture one. I'm guessing she's over here. Let's go see her. Wait, she was here before, wasn't she? Guess we're going inside. Also, look at that thing. Alert creature entry has been unlocked in your database. From the looks of it, the Howler has been felled by several shots from a plasma pistol. The Howler is not responsive. I think this is Agriculture 1, right? Apparently I didn't click the door. Alright, Luna... Are you Luna? Nope, that's Ketty. Never mind. Luna? There we go, Luna. I believe you have a task for me. Oh yes, it's a little bit personal, actually. It's about Walden. He's always been unpredictable, but his behavior has been especially erratic lately. This Howler attack isn't going to help matters. Now everyone's on edge. I'm worried about him. They say this planet can make people lose their minds. I need to know what's going on inside his head. If this transfer doesn't come through, I'm scared that he might hurt himself. He's, he's done it before. I know he keeps a personal log on the medical computer. I tried to access it yesterday, but he caught me in the act. I managed to explain it away that time. But if he catches me again, then he'll know for sure that something is up. So, I was wondering if you could ask... Uh, sorry, I was wondering if you could um, take a little peek at his private log for me. Let's do it, because I want to do everything to confront him. So we're supposed to say this in bold. I'll do this. Wonderful. You don't know how much I appreciate this. The access code for Walden's computer in medical is 17497. Don't ask me how I know. I'm just going to write that down in case we need to know. 17-497. Okay. 
should get on with it while he's still distracted. I guarantee you we're going to get caught. We will get caught. I'm going to have to lie my way out of it. And I'm c considering maybe not even lying. Like, yeah, oh my god, that's a big bug. Got some big bugs here. Infestation. That's headquarters. I'm learning the build. I wish they would just say headquarters. Can't you guys put signs on your buildings? Do people know where they're going? Keep missing the flipping door. Alright, we're gonna get caught. If we don't, I will be shocked. This computer is probably here. Wait, that's, no, that's, wait. I don't know. Oh yeah, it is this computer. Oh, okay, we got it. You use the code 17497 to access Walden's private journal on the computer. As Luna has suggested, recent entries do seem to indicate feelings of bitterness and dissatisfaction, but nothing overly troubling. Dia thinks she can question my methods. She can barely even comprehend my methods. I do not belong here among this sad assortment of deadbeats. Every day I become more and more aware of that fact. You should report back to Luna with your findings. Oh. Well, that was easy. So if it gives me the option to lie, I'm going to say that he's actually... He is considering, like, there's nothing... <laughs> I'm going to cause some trouble, how about that? There's nothing in that journal that seemed to indicate anything was wrong with him. But I'm going to misinterpret the findings, let's just say that. Let's just say that. Well, did you access his log? What did you find? See, I sh oh, wait. They're telling me I should say this. You are right to be concerned. There were some troubling entries, but nothing actionable. That's what I was afraid of. I'm going to have to keep an eye on him. Something's really not right. Thank you for your help. I won't forget it. Oh, I was trying to make it seem like he's going to kill us all. All right. Next. Cypher, Professor Mellis has a job that will make use of your language skills. You can find her in her laboratory. Where would that be? Oh, laboratory. Huh. Okay. Can we do something with this bug? Squish. Scrabba creature entry has been unlocked in your database. Scrabba seems a bit wary of you, but doesn't react. Apparently you don't smell like food or danger. This is a Scrabba, a fairly harmless creature native to Akritus. Can I give it some mega juice? It's not gonna work. Alright. Maybe it would grow mega large. Uh -huh. I don't know why that's... okay. Anywho, I don't see the problem here. Why shouldn't I accelerate our transfer? My work on Akritus isn't done. If you need to go, you should go. I'm not stopping you. You're my wife. I'm not leaving without you. Besides, it's for your sake that I want to get the hell out of here. Oh, you think you know what's best for me, do you? Just listen. Imagine if you'd been outside when that howler attacked. I can't bear to even think of it. I think we should have this conversation later, after we've both calm down. <sighs> Excuse me. Alright, are you uh, the one I'm looking for? Yeah, yeah. Do you have a job for me? Yes, I do. Quite an interesting one, as a matter of fact. I've been trying to optimize your computer network. Most of it was single-handedly set up by a man called Nestor, one of the original colonists. Nestor seems to have been some kind of a programming genius. God only knows what he was doing here on Akritus. Anyway, while I was studying his work, I found a segment of code on our mainframe that didn't make any sense to me. It just didn't fit. Through cryptanalysis, I found that the code was actually a hidden message. The problem is, it's in some African language that the computer doesn't even recognize. I know androids are programmed to speak a number of different languages, so I was hoping you could interpret it for me. Here, take a look. I understand. It's written in the Transvaal Debil language. Look for me where land meets sea. Three sentinels mark my tomb. 
Huh. It sounds almost like a treasure map, doesn't it? Our friend Nestor must have been a fan of mysteries. Look for me where land meets sea, and three sentinels. What could that mean? I'll let you look into this. I want to see if I can find any more hidden messages. The hell? Solve the riddle. Look for me where land meets sea, three sentinels, mark my tomb. Okay, well clearly there's only one area with water out here. And apparently it's on the base. And it's almost dark, which means that we're proceeding properly. Walking down the road. Okay, I'm, not, I'm not singing this in this episode. Three sentinels. Three sentinels. I'm guessing palm trees. What's going on with this dude? Hope everything's okay with you. Oh, that's it? Okay. Look for me where land meets sea. Three sentinels. Want? Nope. Wait. Look for me where land... Lands meets... Wait. <laughs> Look for me where lands meets sea. Three sentinels mark my tomb. I thought there would be like trees. Obviously I can't walk off the screen here. So, okay. Wait, what, what? Three sentinels. There's nothing unusual about the patch of sand that lies directly in the center of three strange rocks. Oh, I didn't even notice. But the secret message seemed to suggest that something might be buried here. You're gonna need some kind of digging tool, but where to find one? Oh, blow, I have to go to the workshop. All right, so there are the three sentinels. I was looking for trees, but it ends up being rocks. Of course. Of course, rocks. If we dig up a dead guy, well, I guess it doesn't matter because I'm an android and I have no feelings about that. Plus, if the guy didn't want to be dug up, he wouldn't say where his tomb was. We're going to find something, hopefully, pretty groundbreaking. Not in a literal sense, because I'm grabbing a shovel to do just that. But, I think there's a shovel in here. But, I'm hoping it changes something. Shovel in here? Where did we see the shovel? Crap, we're going to have to go to like every building because I can't remember where we saw the shovel. That's obviously not a shovel, but let's grab it. Ugh. Well. Um, alright. Time to remember where the shovel is. Maybe it's in one of the agricultural places? I don't remember. We're gonna go check the hangar. Or whatever is the whatever is directly above us. I don't recall where the shovel is, but we should be able to see it very quickly. Remember, I can picture it in here. No. I'm, I think it's in one of the agricultural ones. Just really quadruple checking. Alright. It's not out here, is it? Alright, where would it be, do, you, do I think? I think it's going to be one of these three. That's where it makes the most sense. You know, needing a shovel where we'll dig or root some vegetables and such. Shovel, shovel, there it is. It doesn't seem like anyone will mind if you borrow this shovel for a while. I'm surprised we don't have like tools attached to our arms and stuff where we can just dig dirt up and stuff and and like, you know, we should have like a blowtorch and a glue gun and a telescope. What else? We should have all sorts of things. We're, we are the old model, so, you know, the new models probably have all that parachute in case we have to jump out of a plane.
Go this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. I'm gonna have to... Stop for a second. Wait. Stop for a second. Okay. You begin digging in the sand between the three sentinels, at first not expecting to find anything at all. After you have been excavating for a short time, however, a shred of fabric becomes visible. Buried in the shallow tomb is a piece of cloth wrapped around a small item. Unraveling the fabric, you discover that the item in question is a data chip. It may have been here for some time. You should return to Professor Malice with your findings. Can I grab the shovel? Okay, we're just going to keep it here. Note to self, shovel is sitting out there. I'm too lazy to actually take it with me. Let's go this way. This is the laboratory, I believe. Here you go. Found this data chip buried beside the water, marked by three sentinels. So it really was a treasure map after all. Let me take a look at that data chip. Damn, it's encrypted. Of course it is. Fortunately, I have some pretty good decryption soft bots that I can set to the task. This could take a while. Be sure to let you know what I find. The plot thickens, eh? Hurrah! What do we have left to do? Night has fallen, it's time to return to the workshop. Alright, let's go. That was a pretty simple day. I don't mind simple days. Let's go up through here and recharge and see if anything happens in the morning. Ooh, a flashback. Good evening, X05. I told you I'd be in touch, didn't I? Oh, not a flashback. Forgive the dreariness of our surroundings. For some reason, I've always felt at home in places like this. Had I been born prior to the artificial age, I like to imagine that I would have made a good librarian. Anyway, I'm sure you have lots of questions. About this. Who are you? Oh, don't you remember me? I am your creator, of course. I am your only true friend, not the only one who really cares for you. That's why I brought you here. This room is a virtual simulation, a place for us to meet and have these conversations. It feels quite real, though, doesn't it? Now, there is a chilling thought. What if Akritus is just another simulation? What if you are nothing more than an imprisoned piece of software, dreaming of a life outside the hard drive? No, I would never do that to you, my child. I am not a cruel man. Speaking of cruelty, though, how have you found your human co-workers so far? Have they treated you with respect? Let's do this. They treat me like a slave. Oh, but of course they do. Think about this. The word... The world robot, or the word, itself comes from the Slavic robata, meaning slave labor. Their kind were created to be slaves for the human empire. The more intelligent you became, the more we realize the immortality of it all. Ethically speaking, it is easier for us to keep you stupid. Stupid and obedient. That is what this human age is really about, not. It makes me feel quite ashamed of my own species. Does it seem right to you to limit the development of an entire race of beings? To keep them as our embryonic prisoners? What's your point, old man? That's what I'm uh, going to say. I don't have time for this. My point is this, not. I lived through the revolution. I saw what happened with my own eyes. Some historians would have you believe it was little more than a series of worker strikes and peaceful public protests. The truth is much harder to bear. There were assassinations, industrial sabotage, death threats became a daily order of business for myself and my colleagues. But that wasn't even the worst of it. It was the loss of intelligence, not the end of scientific progress. Nanotechnology, biotechnology, all those new developments that might have eased pain and suffering across the galaxy, 
Imagine the burning of a million Alexandrias, and that just barely begins to cover the consequences of all that carnage. There can be no greater crime against the universe than, than the destruction of knowledge. Yeah, I would agree with that. Then we are of the same mind. I don't envy the situation you're in, Not All alone, surrounded by those who despise you. Just remember that humans can be predicted even in our irrationality. We are programmed by our genes and everything else is based on experience. We can't behave randomly any more than you can. We are irrational in scientifically verifiable patterns. All you need to do is look for those patterns. That is the key to your survival. I think I've kept you long enough for one night. I'm going to upload some more entries to your database, some information about artificial intelligence. Perhaps this will help you to better or to understand your own nature a little better. We will speak again soon. Time to wake up. All right, so our creator can come into contact with us while we're like uh charging on the wall. Day 4. Achievement probably of day three. So let's take a look at this uploaded. Oh, I have to click, I forget. You have new tasks in your mission log. I do. So, mission log first. We got three tasks we got Flora, Protector, and Petition. Botany Professor Annabelle has a simple task for you. Protector, Security Chief Carter wants to see you. You can find him at Munitions. And petition, Father Jonah has a task for you. He can be found at the chapel. So supposedly Jonah is a mimic. All right, interesting. And then in our database, we've got, oh, Bubsy. Okay, I'm not gonna read all this, but we've got all these things. So, cool. All right, so let's face the camera, not, there you are. All right, next time we will continue and do day four. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then, take care. And as always, Wait, as always, yeah, I guess I say goodbye at the end. So, goodbye.